Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new around these parts, hi my name is Missa. I am very zoomed in and I'm trying to like have it so my forehead looks smaller because I've got a big, big forehead. I've actually been meaning to do this video for a while, I want to try out this technique and then I saw this morning I watched Robbie e. Christie's video on it and I was like oh I really need to do it now. So today I'm doing the snitchery, I think that's how you pronounce it, technique of how to really overline your lips and make them look like you've had lip fillers. I don't have lip fillers, I there's like a, a small part of me that wants them and then the vast majority of me does not want them just because I feel like everyone on Instagram has these massive lips and they all look the same and don't shout at me if you're a regular here. I'm not gonna get lip fillers, I promised you all that a while ago. So it's not gonna happen, but yeah, there is like a small part of me and I think maybe when I'm like 40 and I've lost all my collagen, then I might get it done. But hopefully in like 12 years though, there's like a lip gloss that we can all use that makes your lips look massive. Anyway, so I'm gonna follow her video if I can put it up on screen, I will. If not, I will just link it down below, but I will just follow the steps with you just now and kind of go through how she does it. I probably won't put it on screen because I'm really bad at like technology and editing. What I really liked is that she didn't use very many products. So I'm only gonna use lip pencil, a lipstick or a lip gloss or lip balm or, or, or not all of them, and a little bit of my foundation. So I'm gonna start off with my Primark lip liner. This is a nude lip liner. It's probably a little dark, but I kinda wanna have like the most dramatic transformation ever. So I'm just gonna sharpen it up. I love Primark lip liners and they're only a pound. Okay, so the first thing that she does is like overline her lips. Not to filth, but overlined. So I'm just gonna start. I'm going to start my very outer corner and then really like round this off. I do on the daily overline my lips though because I like to have them looking really big. And by the way, I'm really happy with the size of my lips. Like I think when God put me on the conveyor belt, he gave me pretty good lips. And then I think she makes it a little straighter over the cupid's bowl. I'm really bad at overlining. It takes me so long. We're gonna see it more in a second as well, but the point is a very like round lip, so just like think of a circle instead of like having like widened elongated lips so I'm really like rounding it off at the top. So that looks massive and now we're going to do the same to the bottom. Okay so I mean they look pretty big, pretty good. And it's probably only slightly more overlined than I would normally go, but now it's quite an interesting step. I'm gonna take the foundation that I use. You can use your concealer as well, she said. I'm just gonna use the foundation that I use today and like an angled brush. This is just like a little angled brow brush and I'm gonna get a bit of my foundation. And we're gonna like take off the edges. We're gonna make our lips look way more round, so she just does this and we're gonna yeah just kind of cut off the end and then I guess blend that in that already looks fuller doesn't it I actually think that's made like a massive difference already. Same on the top. So you're going for like a circle. I mean, to me, they look bigger, but they also look ridiculous. Um, and then we've got to deepen the corners. And 
And then what we do is go in with a lip balm or a lip gloss, something that's going to make our lips kind of melt this lip liner basically. I think I'll use a gloss because it's going to make my lips look bigger I think, although in my opinion it's kind of hard using a glossy product rather than a matte one because you can kind of tell where your skin is flat. Anyway, I'm going to try the Makeup Revolution Pout Balm. This is in the shade Candy, I use it all the time and we'll see if this has worked. I probably shouldn't use this gloss because it does actually have like um, menthol or mint or something in it that makes your lips tingle. Trust me, I almost forgot one of the most important steps. She uses a bronzer underneath her lip to make that stick out more, which is actually something I do most days. Um, I'm going to use my Essence Contouring Duo for this because I really like it and I'll probably use a little bit of the darker one. That just makes your lip look heavier because it's giving you a shadow underneath it. This is the after. Yeah, I mean, I would say that works incredibly. I think my lips look double the size. Let's look at the before as well because, oh my goodness, like, I feel like they look ridiculous on me but just because I'm not used to this like volume and I'm surprised at how like good it looks in person let me get a better mirror yeah I mean it actually looks decent in person as well like it doesn't look like I'm just someone that doesn't know how to line my lips and it's gone like crazy so it really works um I think it's pretty effective. I think I could have gone more drastic with like how rounded I made the sides. I don't know if I'm just kind of going out the lines out of habit. I mean it makes sense when you make something very rounded like this it does appear to kind of stick out more and especially if you then go with like a gloss or maybe even a lip balm like it does look crazy. Will I take some aspects of this into how I do my makeup? Yes, I'm definitely going to round off the side of my lips a bit better because I often do very, very defined like triangular outer corners and this, this way is definitely making my lips look massive. The only problem is I hope it works just as well with a matte lip because I really don't like gloss and I've got long hair and hair just gets stuck in gloss and it's the worst thing on the planet earth but Wow, I really want to see what my brother or sister-in-law think. I just want to see if I can get their reaction. Hold on. Okay, I've got my sister here. Sister-in-law. I've got- <laughs> she's freaking <laughs> out. Um, I'd like you to tell me if you think I look like I've got lip fillers. Or not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Actually, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I quite like that. Do you? Yeah, that's quite nice. Do you think it's too big on my face? No, I quite like it. I like your upper lip. You want lip fillers now, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Just no, makeup. I quite like that. They look way different. How did you do it? I'll have to show you. It's a whole, a whole process. I'm filming it right now. You can watch it back. No, that's really nice. Yeah? I like it. Thanks. Yeah. Gotta get my brother involved as well. Do you think it looks like I've got lip injections? <laughs> or what what do you think? Nothing. I think it does. Do they all look massive? Do you not think like they look plump like a upper lip? <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. I feel like Sarah thought it was quite impressive to look at. My brother I don't know what he thought, he didn't think anything, clearly. Personally for me, I think they look much bigger than they did before, but I'm kind of getting used to this size on my face as well, like I'm starting to not actually hate it so much. So yeah, I guess that is Snitchery's technique on how to make your lips look fake, like you've had fake lips, a la Kylie Jenner. Um, I'm impressed. I am very impressed. I will continue to take elements of this into how I do my makeup from now on because, like I've said, I don't I want to get lip filler but I'm definitely not getting lip filler and so this is a really good way to kind of cheat it 
and I'll probably get better at this technique as I go on and maybe we'll do it in my next video but I'll use like a matte liquid lip and see how it looks so yeah I quite like it because when I smile my top lip doesn't disappear and I feel like it does usually Usually I find like hack videos or how-to videos like for this kind of thing just really stupid and gimmicky and I don't like the result and I don't think it works. This is definitely one that works. Let me know what you think. Are you going to try this technique on yourself? If you do, please send me a picture. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short video. I just really wanted to test this, this out and see what would happen. And I'm now going to do a live for my Patreons and see if they notice anything. Um, so yeah, if you did enjoy it, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to check out Snitchery and Robbie at Christie. I'll link both of their videos below. Uh, leave me a comment down below and subscribe. Become part of the family. As always, a massive thank you to my Patreon. Thank you guys so much for your support on Patreon and by watching my videos. It is incredible. It's mind blowing, and I couldn't, I wouldn't be here without you guys because you know you've rescued me and are healing me somewhat. Um, and if you want to join, um, become a Patreon, you can join in the WhatsApp group, our Facebook group, our Discord that's coming soon. The link's in the description. If you can't or don't want to become a Patreon, please don't worry about it. Watching my videos is a ginormous support. Please don't worry about it. And so on that note, I will piss off and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. <laughs>